guys, this is Stephanie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, just feel free to subscribe, hit the bell for more content, hit that like button, and share away because we like sharing. And as you, as you remember, I do this as a labor of love for Star Wars, and just because I love talking about this stuff, and I like reaching out to people. Um, so today, uh, first off, I want to explain to our foreign friends uh, in our in my little viewership. You probably have been noticing there's a lot of stuff going on uh, with the Supreme Court nomination. Now, if you're not aware, there are three branches of the U.S. federal government. The executive branch, which is headed by the president. The legislative branch, which is a bicameral legislature, which is the House of Representatives and the Senate. And the judiciary branch, which the top court of the land is the U.S. Supreme Court. The president has a duty to nominate justices to the court when there's a vacancy. And this summer, uh, Judge Anthony Kennedy, uh, the swing vote on the court for a lot of different cases, decided to step down. So uh, President Trump uh, nominated a very qualified man named Brett Kavanaugh, and all hell broke loose. Uh, and it's a case of demonizing men. And... You just saw today, even, uh, social justice warriors absolutely unhinged. Um, it is in our culture, it is in our politics, it is in our schools, it is in our workplaces, it is everywhere. And uh, what I wanted to talk about today is demonizing men to empower women. And a little bit about Ray Nobody and why you know, it's a bullshit idea in Star Wars because, it's just, you know, it's a Skywalker family saga. So, this has all been going on, and it's been very stressful for a lot of us. Uh, you know, I don't like what it makes our country look like. Uh, I don't like the fact that uh, these, these these leftists are bullies. Um, there, there's been, there's, I think there's video out there of Senator Lisa Murkowski from Alaska getting bullied by that horrible human being, Dianne Feinstein, to vote no on Kavanaugh. Um, and, and they have their reasons why. They're afraid because when he gets there, the court will break precedent and listen to uh, a, uh, a case that would overturn Roe versus Wade, the abortion thing that basically made, made abortion legal in the United States. As far as I can recollect, the United States Supreme Court has never broken precedent. Now, if they did, it would probably be a case where some states could ban it and other states could could still keep whatever they wanted. Um, which, as a libertarian and as someone who believes in the uh, sanctity of federalism, I'm all for that. But, uh, they're not going to break precedent, but the left is, is unhinged. And this is how they make money to run their campaigns, is by demonizing their opponents. And that's what they did to Brett Kavanaugh, who is a good family man. He is an impeccable uh, uh, jurist and a straight shooter. But he's a man, a white man. So there they go, off on their little, you know, to dig up something to hurt his nomination. And they tried really hard. And it didn't work. But how does this kind of float into what I'm going to talk about? A very cool guy, someone I actually did a, a thing for once a long time ago, who I have dozens of friends who work for him, uh, who were his acolytes, Andrew Breitbart. And I know some people are going to hate that, but he wasn't a racist. Okay, he was actually more liberal than you are. Okay. He didn't care. He didn't see color. He didn't see, uh, you know, gay, straight, whatever. People were just people to him. And his problem was uh, silencing free speech, silencing free speech and culture. And he said, culture is upstream from politics. And what that means is what you're debating in the culture, what's in there is going to end up on the floor of the Supreme Court. It's going to end up being debated on the floor of the U.S. House of Representatives, the U.S. Senate. It's going to end up being in a debate between, you know, pres presidential candidates. 
And this is what we've witnessed in the Supreme Court nomination of Brett Kavanaugh. Brett Kavanaugh has no reason to feel a, uh, uh, feel like he doesn't deserve the seat because he does, but because he's a white man and these idiots for some reason are deluded into thinking that the court will break precedent uh, so they had to demonize him and they've been de demonizing men for a long time and I'm going to use TLJ and the failure and the failure of the Star Wars franchise as a whole to ex uh, explain why because it's culture uh, for a long time at least since the 80s late late no no early 90s uh, there's been a slow methodical march to attacking all men everywhere. Uh, I had friends who were in women's studies classes, decided that we weren't friends anymore and told them to F off. Uh, you know, they treated men like shit. And when you realize these women had lived on public housing, had kids who they wouldn't let see their fathers because whatever, and basically were on the dole and then blamed men for their bad decisions, you know, the hypocrisy is huge. and. You know, I wasn't raised that way. Um, I didn't need feminists. I don't think any women do. You know, I made a meme one day of Han Solo and Jaina Solo that said, masculine fathers raise confident daughters. And it's true, my father raised a very confident daughter. It took me a while to realize, you know, what every, everything he taught, and then my mom both, but mostly my dad. But I grew up hunting, I grew up fishing, I grew up shooting. Uh, I grew up driving boats, um, you know, I've been bucked off, kicked, stomped on by horses, bitten, uh, worked my butt off at, at you know, haying, God, it's a horrible job, uh, so I could ride. Uh, there's a whole lot that I haven't done that a lot of guys do. Now, can I do it as well as guys? I'm a better trap shooter than a lot of guys are. What, a pistol shot? No. I still have work, a lot of work to do. Rifle shot? Um, oh, pretty good with that. But am I better than some guys? Yeah. Am I, are they some better than me? Oh, yeah. So there you go. Okay. You know, you don't demonize men to empower women. I never needed that. Okay. The guys I, I shoot with, I hunt with, I smoke cigars with, I ride with, don't treat me like I'm some sort of special goddess or they don't look, and they don't look down at me either. Do I need help if I shoot a deer? I can't drag a 200 pound buck out or hurt my back. All right? Uh, you know, everybody works together. Okay. And when you get to the Star Wars saga, when it first came out, the way George Lucas intended it, that's what happened. Everybody worked together. Everybody had a role to play. The male-female construct wasn't, she was up here and he was being browbeaten down here. They were this, complete equals. And, you know, as I've said before, Han saves Leia, she saves him back. Okay, you can't find more equality than that. And she saves him more way than just getting him out of the carbonite. She saved him emotionally and spiritually too. Okay, that's a big deal. That's an even bigger deal than her and him saving her in lots of ways. I mean, even though... She, he helped her grow up and discover that she could be a, a real, a, a woman d doing real woman things and become this well-rounded character that all the girls could look up to and idolize. Uh, so how does this fit into Star Wars as Disney Star Wars? It doesn't. Uh, you know, I think Rey in The Force Awakens kind of gets a bad rap because we didn't know who she was. She wasn't quite the Mary Sue because there was this feeling that she was going to end up being somebody. We get to TLJ and there's no explanation for her parents. Uh, Ryan Johnson says she's right nobody. So she's basically is a Mary Sue. And um, it's bullshit. It doesn't fit in the Skywalker saga. Uh, neither does Ad Vice Admiral Gender Studies who in no way represents a military officer, in no way represents a a woman in a role like that. Uh, you know, when you join the U.S. Marine Corps, the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, 
you are a Marine, a sailor, a soldier, an airman first before you're anything else. And you're treated that way. You know, there are times when uh, women who don't deserve promotions get promoted over a man, uh, you know, which is wrong. But, you know, politics does play into it. But essentially, you know, she would not fit in today's military because she is just not a good example of a female military officer. Okay, she shows up in a purple dress, the Senate robes, like she's going out to lunch with somebody, with that stupid purple hair, with that dumb, 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 bimbo smirk on her face, trading pole like shit. You don't do that. I mean, even if you're not exactly explaining all your plans to your subordinates, you do not do that to them. The IRS in the Kane Mutiny, uh, and you should, uh, Jose Ferrer, uh, Humphrey Bogart are magnificent in that movie, do it, do, because you'll see the problems that happen when you have a military officer who is so inept leading a unit. Okay, um, you can't, and you, 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 as you, as, his, as part of the staff, as a subordinate, you need to help him. The fact that Bogart's character in The Kane Mutiny and Vice Admiral Gender Studies will not allow Poe to help, will not even give him a hint of what... You know, you know, Henry Bogart's character won't allow his sailors to help him. Vice Admiral Gender Studies will not allow Poe or any other pilot, any of her staff, help her. This is a problem, this, and this is not how you lead. This is why my husband, when he was uh, teaching, when he was doing education stuff with his uh, young staff officers, would use the King Unity. It is a very good movie about what you don't do and what you do as a leader and as someone who's trying to work with this leader who's not quite all with it. And Vice Admiral Gender Studies uh, isn't quite with it. And instead of being a, a realistic portrayal of a flag officer, She's a feminist cartoon and doesn't belong in Star Wars. Again, you see her treat Poe like crap and it's Ryan Johnson making sure men are demonized and empowering a woman who doesn't deserve it, okay, at all. And you go back to the OT, Leia was already a hero when we met her. Her journey was a personal journey. However, her respect was earned, the respect that she got from her subordinates from Han, from Luke, was earned, okay? Gender studies, <laughs> you know, she was written by someone, uh, Claudia Gray, created by Claudia Gray, who doesn't know anything about the military at all, and turned into this even more heinous thing. She's a bigger bitch in the book, by the way, uh, by Ryan Johnson. Would someone want to see her... Uh, removed as a leader? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Why? Because her decisions are bad decisions and they get people killed. And they did. Um, so then we get Rose Tico. Rose Tico is literally the minority uh, SJW mouthpiece for animal rights and cultural Marxism. I feel sorry for Kelly Marie Tran. She deserved a better character. And actually, to be honest, her character didn't belong in, in any Star Wars movie. Admiral, Vice Admiral Gender Studies doesn't belong in any Star Wars movie. Uh, the way they wrote, the way Leia was portrayed in TLJ, that was wrong. Uh, that was an attack on how George Lucas looked at her. That was an attack on uh, everything that she had become in the OT. You don't demonize men to empower women. All right, this is why the OT works. This is why the prequels actually work. This is why the sequels don't work. Let's talk about Ray Mary Sue and why she doesn't work. 
in The Force Awakens, we had an idea that Rey was related to somebody, either Luke or Han. All right. Uh, and it was pretty obvious to me the intimate relationship that she was already starting to have with Han before he was butchered like a dog on a catwalk by his piece of shit son was there was something more there. The way Leia hugs her at the end and ignores Chewbacca and she's never met this girl says something big there. Um, and so the whole, you know, enraged, oh my god, she's married to sued by some of the guys. It's like she's not supposed to be. There's a reason why she does this. She's got this. She's related to somebody. She's probably been trained. She can't remember. Enter Ryan Johnson. Ray Mary Sue. Ray Nobody. Ray Nobody does not fit in, in uh, the Skywalker saga. Uh, and will be retconned. It's probably already been retconned. Uh, even Collider said that she's probably related to, to Ren. Probably his, his sister, because that would be the easiest road, road easier, less convoluted road for them to run on. Okay, uh, then introducing a whole thing with Luke in the background. and uh, the, the movie's already going to be convoluted enough, because they're bringing everything but the kitchen sink. Everybody who's not dead, who's alive right now, in reality, is going to be in this movie. All right, including, including this guy. All right, so, because I have to do something. And Ray Mary Sue is just another feminist avatar. And it doesn't make any sense in Star Wars. It's an insult to women. I was offended. And any woman in her right mind should be offended. Uh, I don't, if I had daughters, I would say, everything she's doing is wrong, don't do it. And the reason why is this, you will make bad decisions. You'll make them on your own. It's somebody else's fault but yours. So take responsibility. No, you're not perfect. No, you will stumble. No, you need help. Yes, you need training. Yes, you need to know what works and what doesn't work. You're not going to be perfect everywhere you go because you're a girl. That does, that's bullshit. Um, and trust me, I've done the legwork. I'm 50 years old. Uh, you know, it's, 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 it's a lie. Ray Mary Sue, Ryan Johnson's version of Ray is a lie. Ryan Johnson's version of Leia is a lie and uh, an atrocious backstab to Leia, to Carrie Fisher, to uh, George Lucas, to the OT. Um, you know, and I'm going to leave you all with this, you know, because I was talking a little bit about Brett Kavanaugh and the problems that we've been having with the left. And again, what you're seeing at the Supreme Court and in the, the Senate debates and in the hearings is nothing more than the culture sleeping into our politics. And this is why the SJW movement has to stop. And we have to have an honest conversation about men, male, female roles in fiction and literature because I'm sorry, fiction is important. Arthur, Perseus, um, the Nordic sagas are all fiction, but they helped shape human uh, humans, uh, man's ability to think about the outside world, male-female relationships, etc. And we have to have a conversation because the SJW movement, the third wave feminist movement, is killing us. And it's killing movies. Ray Mary Sue is killing Star Wars. And Vice Admiral Gender Studies is a feminazi cartoon. Okay? What they did to Leia and TLJ is a backstab to every woman out there. It really, really is. There's, there's nothing grown up about her in The Last Jedi. There's nothing grown up. There. I mean, there really was the only part in TFA that she seemed like the old Leia, was when she was dealing with Han. I mean, the moment he showed up, she sort of went back to being the, that, that woman that we knew at the end of Return of the Jedi. Okay. See where I'm going? I really think uh, Disney's going to have to decide what they want to do. Because it's fine to have your Disney princesses, but you have to have your princess too. And demonizing the boys, demonizing Luke... 
turning him into a bitter old coward, uh, demonizing Han, retconning his character 180 degrees back to where he used to be, is bullshit. All right, the boys need their heroes too, and also the girls need men to look up to. All right, and Han and, and Luke were perfect for that. So stop the SJW stuff, stuff. Stop demonizing men to empower us chicks. We don't need it. I don't need it. I don't know any girls who need it. We're there. We know what we are. All right? And we know what we need and what we don't need. And I'll tell you something, Ryan Johnson, Amanda Ward, none of us need your feminist bullshit. Okay? All right? So this is Steph. Little words of wisdom. See you around the galaxy.